YouTubers, Rob Muffet. Guys, today we're doing something a little different. Today I'm going to do a review. <laughs> I went to the dollar store. I'm having lunch. I thought, you know what? I've never purchased these frozen foods at the dollar store before. I thought they'd be something fun to review um, and just maybe have them for lunch now and then. If they don't taste that good, I'll let you know. If they do taste really good, I'll let you know too. Um, I'm going to put this in the microwave for three minutes. but and, uh, and then while it's in the microwave, I'll show you the other stuff that I bought that will also be reviewing in the next week's. I want you to tell me which one I should review. So let's open this up. You don't have to put this in the microwave. You can also cook it in the stove. So it doesn't look bad. <laughs> ah, it must be good. It doesn't look bad. Oh. And there's the, the packet of sauce. The lobster sauce. So this can be cooked for uh, three minutes if it's frozen in the microwave. But not the packet. <laughs> All right. Now this here is lobster roll made in America, <laughs> product of USA, uh, microwavable, fully cooked just heat and serve, sauce pack included. Keep frozen, it's uh, five ounces, was one dollar. And it's got a lot of good ingredients. It's got a few that people might not be crazy about. It's uh, cabbage, carrot, lobster, crab flakes, uh, fish paste, uh, wheat starch, kojak flour. <laughs> uh, who loves you, baby? Soybean oil, uh, salt. Isolated pro soy protein. Some people don't like that. Natural crab flavor. I prefer the unnatural crab flavor. The uh, the mirror and the rice wine. Uh, natural crab extract. Sugar, calcium carbonate. Canine color or carrying color. I'd prefer the canine color. Maybe we get a, a Dalmatian. And onion, <laughs> vegetable oil, celery, textured soy flour, sesame flavored oil. Yeah, but uh. Seasoning, sugar, salt, spices, monomonomonium mono, glutamate, dehydrated garlic flavorings, contains maltodextrin, disodium minate, some people don't like that, disodium guanolate, same thing, yeast extract, citric acid, brown rice flour, sugar, salt, then uh, the crust, oh, they got crust ingredients, niacin, thiamine, all that good stuff. Uh, the batter is water, flour, wheat, niacin, mononitrate, Triboflavin, folic acid, corn flour, folic acid, and sweet and sour sauce, water, sugar, tomato paste, apple cider vinegar, water, white vinegar, pineapple juice, thermoflow, which is food starch modified, lemon salt, contains wheat, egg, and soy. So, a little bad, a little good, uh, one dollar. We'll see what it tastes like. Now, while we've got the microwave going, by the way, I'm going to have some vegetable pea soup. Got a nice recipe for it in an earlier video. Having some nice uh, vegetable drink here. We're going to be testing the uh, ribeye steak, the one half pound beef patty skillet mix, the pork loin riblets. Mmm, riblets. <laughs> Golden crust Jamaican style chicken patties. Oh, we be liming here. We be liming. Okay, some White Castle hamburgers. Mm, they just float to the floor. We got some chicken sausage, chicken fingers, made with 100% chicken breast meat. Ready to cook. We hope so. <laughs> yeah, top house, chicken sausage, apple infused, ready to cook. Made with 100% chicken breast meat. Keep frozen. So this is a shrimp egg roll, just same as the lobster egg roll. We got a chopped chicken filet. We got two beef patties. So you guys in the comments, let me know what is the one I should cook next week, or I should say next uh, video, depending how well this one goes. And that's the one I'll do. So y'all just right there in the comments, let me know. Throw these back in the freezer. Okay, time for the taste test. Okay. Oh, it's kind of 
kind of soft. Just as you would expect in a microwave. It'd be better texture if it was cooked in the, on the skillet on the stove. There you can see the cabbage. Not a lot of filling. Hmm. It said, ooh, that's super hot. More filling here. Ooh. Okay. Where's that old sauce? We're going to pause this and let that cool down. That's super hot. Maybe it should have went only like two and a half minutes. Okay, I let it cool off just a little bit. It's very crispy on one side and it's kind of soft on the other. Now that it's cooled down a bit. The smell, the aroma, it, there's, a, there's a, a little fishy smell to it like there should be. And you can also smell a little bit of cabbage. The first couple bites, there was mostly just a taste of the dough. But as I bit more into it, I could start getting more flavors. Initially, it was kind of disappointing the first bite. Let me eat some more. I'm getting some more uh, ingredients now I can taste. It's kind of doughy and you can taste the cabbage and the little bit of carrot. The There's also a little bit of a fish flavor to it. Considering it was frozen then put it in a microwave I'm a little surprised at how crunchy it is, part of it. Like this part is very crunchy. This part is soft and doughy. And it doesn't have a bad flavor or a bad smell. Like I said, the very first bite I took, it was a little disappointing. But as I've eaten it, as the more I eat, the better it tastes. There's enough sauce for both pieces. It's just a, a, a sweet and sour sauce. This is the same thing. Alright guys. Initially, I should stop talking while I'm eating. Hmm. The very first bite, I was actually disappointed. But the more I've tasted it, the better it is. And like I said, as it cooled off a bit, this part is very crunchy and this part is kind of chewy and soft. So I actually get two textures and it has a, a not unpleasant smell or, or taste. <laughs> it didn't kill me and the dog it didn't run away. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I have a five stars. I would give it See, whenever you buy something inexpensive at the dollar store, the fact that it, it, it's not terrible, you want to say, well, gee, considering the price and where you bought it. it but um, if I was in a restaurant, I would say this is a little soggy. And that's because of the microwave. If this had been put like in a, a hot uh, air cooker and would have would dried it up a bit and made it more crisp, or even in the pan, in the skillet, uh, it would have been crisp all around. Because this is this part, the texture is doughy and a little rubbery, and this is still crispy. So, the texture half and half, it's half good and half kind of bad. The flavor, it's it's acceptable. Um, I would say it's good. It's it's not great. It's good. So here you go. This is my review for the lobster egg roll by Imperial Garden, and. If you guys look earlier in the video, I posted a, uh, I showed a bunch of other uh, items. Let me know which one you want me to review next, and that's what I'll do. Extra crispy. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. I'm going to finish my vegetable pea soup and my VHs and call it a, a lunch. All right, guys. See you out there. Oh guys, I gotta show you. I found